Hi Taurus, I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for October 2023. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in October and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign are going to resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from your cusp sign, so you might want to check that out. This recording is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Rising, and Taurus Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck in this reading. All that being said, Taurus, now on to your October 2023 Psychic Tarot reading. First card you have, Taurus, is the devil. So this could be addicted to something. I mean, anything. You could have addictions to anything. Or it could be symbolic of being trapped and bound to an unhealthy relationship or feeling trapped and bound to an unhealthy situation. When the devil card comes up, sometimes this can indicate fears that you have. You may be going through some kind of gut-wrenching things where you feel like things are not right. Something's just not right. And it's twisting your gut a little bit. Now, think how many things could cause that. That could be caused by things going out in the world that you don't like. It could be happening at your job. It could be happening with a love partner or a friend group. I don't know where specifically at this point, but I get this feeling like, like you're... You feel trepidation, you feel anxious, you may feel like your stomach is uh, kind of twisting in knots, and this is why the devil card is coming up here for you. I hear that you've caught somebody either lying or doing something they're not supposed to be doing. And... This may have shocked you for some of you, uh, not all of you, but some of you, it may make you feel uneasy, like uneasy. You're unsure what to make of this. You may have seen somebody doing something weird online or weird online searches or searches online or watching things you don't like or approve of or lying about something or somebody maybe even at work like taking something that you're like you can't believe that you saw this employee uh stealing it, it could even be something like that i feel like part of the reason you're getting this gut, gut wrenching feeling about it is because i feel like you don't really know what to do about it you're unsure how to handle it some of you could also feel trapped either in a love relationship or in a situation, a club, a group, an organization, a job, a love relationship. You may feel trapped in something like you and you may feel like you want to get out of it, but you could feel trapped. You could see somebody exhibiting violent behavior or disturbing behavior. Now, for some of you, there could be something that you feel is toxic in your system that you need to cleanse it out. Now, this could be from, you know, medications. It could be from foods that you eat. It could be from alcohol. I don't know what it is, but you could feel like you have something in your system that feels toxic that you want to, you know, like purge, clean out, uh, do, a, do a cleanse of some sort. And if it's not something you've ingested, it could, or been ingesting, it could be like, you may feel like you have negativity or uh, things of that nature, 
like negative energy in your spirit or in your body that you want to cleanse out. So the next card in your reading is the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords is an air sign person. This is an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, Sun, Moon or Rising sign. It could be you Taurus if you have a Rising sign or a Moon sign. That's an air sign or if you're born on the cusp of Taurus and Gemini. You know, there's a lot of ego going on here. And this could be somebody that you're having uh, a combative discussion, fight, argument, or relationship with. I get like combativeness here for some of you, not all of you. I feel like you may feel like this person is dictatorial, that their ego gets in their way. For some of you, this could be uh, one of your kids, if you have children. For others of you, this could be a boss. But it could even be a sibling, a love partner. But it feels most to me like, it, it feels most to me like a relative and then a boss second. That's what it feels like to me in the strongest sense. I get all this forceful energy coming from them to you, like this is how it's going to be done and you're, you're going to have to listen to me. Like they're trying to be like dictatorial to you, kind of bullyish behavior towards you. Maybe they're not that way all the time. It, you know, for some of you, yeah, maybe that's just their persona. But for some of you, this could just be kicking up in the month of October for some reason. You know, they could be even accusatory to you and say, you didn't do the right thing by me. They, they may be like trying to point the finger at you, uh, do some kind of blame game. They may truly believe it. Or they could be saying this and doing this because they want to guilt you and goad you and manipulate you into doing something. But for some of these Knight of Swords people, they do think this and believe it. But other ones are like, they may think it a little bit, but they could be pumping it up just to try to get you to give them money or give them some kind of resource of some sort or do something for them. You may feel like this person is jealous of you or that they always kind of have it in for you. So maybe you get along with them sometimes, but maybe for some of you, they always seem to find a way to have an ax to grind with you. I feel like this is a complicated, complex relationship, no matter what the relationship is. I keep getting this energy like I have to have it or I have to have it done my way coming from the Knight of Swords telling you. Uh, and this is what I get for October. But remember, timing can be different for all of you because you do not have the same birth chart as every Taurus. You're not born on the same day. Some of you are born in April. Some of you are born in May. Some of you, you know, you don't have the same birth time. So timing can be different for all of you. May have already happened. Sometimes I, I noticed one time I did a Taurus reading. I don't know when this was. Uh, it was months and months ago. Might have even been a year ago. And there was a whole slew of Tauruses that was like, that happened to me last year. That happened to me last year. That happened to me here two years ago. And I was like, wow, it was like specifically Taurus for some reason. So the next card you have in your reading, Taurus, is the Three of Pentacles. And this is a card that symbolizes focusing on craftsmanship and attention to detail. It can be work expansion. If you have a business, you could be expanding your business. If you work at a job, you may have, uh, you know, get a promotion or have more work to do or, you know, things of that nature. If you're non-working, it could be like you working on your finances uh, or your finances increasing in some way. You know, I feel like you're watching how something's done 
because I feel like you want to utilize that method or technology or idea and then there's something that you're going to do from it. Some of you may feel like you want to take things up a notch in your work or your business. So like, you know, maybe you feel like you want to add more products or more services or more territory. Uh, if you, you know, are in sales or things of that nature. It's like accumulation of funds comes through for you just in the nick of time. So if you needed a loan or, you know, an insurance payout, a dividend check, a, a tax refund, a, a raise, a, it's like, or even a gift of cash or an inheritance. It's like money comes to you in the nick, right in the nick of time, right when you need it. Some of you may be working on something that requires hard work and um, hard work and effort. And so you may be creating something like a creative project that could make you money. Or it could be if you want to pour energy into designing a business, like could be designing a website could be if you're going to open a shop of some sort. I saw a coffee shop came up in my mind. Uh, you know, like a Starbucks kind of place, something like that. I don't drink coffee, <laughs> so I'm not a frequenter of coffee shops. Um, not really. And uh, but my two sons are man, they love coffee. <laughs> I don't drink it at all. Uh, but like you could be pouring your efforts into the design of something, especially like a website or opening up a business or some creative project or something you're working on. And it's like you want to oomph it up. You want to fix it up. You want to, you know, get, you know, dot all your I's and cross all your T's and make everything like, you know, symmetrical and uniform, uniform and aesthetically pleasing. So I just want to stop right here and say, you know, you're going to get affected by these two eclipses that are coming up in October of 2023, this month, on the 14th, and I think the other one's on the 28th. If you would like to see what, how this eclipse on the 14th is going to affect you, I've recorded New Moon Solar Eclipse in Libra, October 14th, 2023, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle card readings for each sign of the Zodiac. And in this series, I noticed that the predictions, usually eclipses cover six month time frame. Sometimes they even go out to a year. In those predictions, I was getting predictions for some of the signs out as far as the summertime, like July, um, summertime where I live, like July. August, uh, maybe even further than that. So you might want to check that out because this is going to be a new eclipse cycle axis of, you know, Libra and Aries. And you're, you got the new moon solar eclipse in Libra. So you may want to see how it's going to affect you. And that link is down below in the description box in the show more section underneath this video. And the links are also on my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. Just click on whatever sign you want and that link will take you to that video on Vimeo. So the next card you have in your reading, Taurus, is the uh, Nine of Rods. And the Nine of Rods is a card that symbolizes being prepared and ready for battle, getting your ducks in a row, getting organized. You could also be suspicious of someone or something. I feel like you're trying hard to accumulate your wealth because I feel like there's something that you want to combat or battle. Uh, it could have to do with like, <laughs> you know, inflation, rising prices of food and gas, uh, you know, your utilities, 
I mean, let's face it. They're all going up. I, I, anybody that says they're not has got to be cuckoo bird. Seriously. Right? So uh, it could be like that's what you want to combat and battle. Some of you could feel like you want to sharpen your skills and uh, be really on point because you may feel like you're in competition with other businesses that are like yours or if you're like whatever field you're in. You may feel like whether you work for another company, but especially if you're trying to start your own business or you are an entrepreneur or self-employed, whatever word you want to use, uh, you may feel like you've got to combat the heat that's coming from the other people doing the same thing or having the same kind of business. So you may, may feel like you want to sharpen your skills and sharpen your knowledge and, you know, tighten the screws and everything. Be and so you may want to take classes, webinars, seminars, read up on books or things on the internet, research, because you may feel like I got to like, you know, sharpen, tighten the screws, sharpen everything up in your mind, in your talents, in your skills, in your abilities, and, or in what you're doing and creating, because you may feel like there's heat from competition. And you're kind of leery of letting the cat out of the bag too soon of what your plans are because you are kind of afraid that somebody's going to copy you or steal your ideas um, or like beat you to the punch in some way. And, you know, that can happen. So, and it may have happened to you before. Or it may be other reasons like you just don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet for other reasons. Like, you know, maybe you got, or you're going to start your own business, but you're working for another company. So you can't, like, you know, start promoting it and letting it out. Like, hey, this is my, what I'm going to do, my business, da, 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 because you don't want your employer to find out because then they might get rid of you before you're ready to leave. It could be lots of reasons that you don't want to let that cat out of the bag. Some of you could be fighting some kind of battle I get with a sibling, a relative, uh, a sibling or a relative, and, I, and it could even be a spouse, but it feels like it's never ending. I feel like, and I go back to this card. It could be this air sign person, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. That could be their sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. I feel it may be connected to that. So the next card you have in your reading, which is the last one for October, you have the Hierophant. And this is God or a high priest or high pope giving you a blessing or a warning. It can also indicate higher education and higher learning. You could be the teacher or you could be the student. This could also be symbolic of religion, sometimes spirituality, but it could be re about religion. I feel like you've had to f put up with a lot of fights and battles and it's kind of like time for you to settle in. Even though I got all this stuff here, the, the Hierophant is saying, you know, like, I feel like this might be the last push, the last haranguing you have to do with other people or situations in October, maybe even early November. And then after that, the Hierophant's saying, this is going to be a time for you to like, I don't know if I want to say rest, but like feel more settled and settled in and settled down about things. And the Hierophant's also giving you a warning. He's saying, Taurus, you know, once he got his hand like this, Taurus, you have to complete your projects and your plans, finish things up. Don't leave, leave things dangling. Time to finish things up. And to not be afraid to put yourself out there, especially with your creative projects and pursuits. I also hear you hold yourself back too much out of either lack of self-confidence or fears 
which this could be fears here, right? And it's important for you to keep all your receipts for anything that you buy uh, or spend money on, especially if it's for a company you work for or a business you're trying to start. Uh, you need to keep all your receipts and make sure you have things documented in the right way, contracts signed, things filed properly, all of that. Again, dotting your I's and crossing your T's in that way. You know, I'm hearing you're going to surprise people of what rabbit you're going to pull out of the hat of the magician's hat. Like, you're going to surprise them because people in your life or out in the world that know you are not expecting this of you. So you could really throw some people for a loop with what you come up with. So really, if you have any ideas about starting any kind of sideline business, cottage industry, uh, new business of any kind, uh, new creative endeavors of any sort that could uh, be released to the public and you could make money off of it, it's like, this is your time. Uh, especially things that have been in a, a long time baking in the oven. It's time to take that cake out and decorate it and present it to the world. So the best gemstone crystal I got for Taurus is to work with, use, and wear in the month of October of 2023. You got clear quartz. And clear quartz enhances psychic ability and aids in concentration and memory. It stimulates the immune system and brings the body back into balance. Clear quartz also harmonizes the chakras and aligns the subtle bodies. This crystal that I use to do psychic crystal readings is also clear quartz. So it holds a lot of memory of like universal energy knowledge akashic records that kind of memory it's going to help you feel more principled more disciplined more pragmatic like uh, kind of like this card getting your ducks in a row And it's going to heal something in you, especially if you have any stubborn or controlling sides to your personality. If you work with this stone, wear it, sleep with it under your pillow, uh, carry it, put it on your chakras when you're resting. It's going to help you overcome that. It's going to restore you more back into balance, but it's also going to make you feel more vibrant and invigorated. It's go also going to help you, inspire you to take risks and chances that you either never thought you would do or that you were reluctant to do. So, got to get yourself some clear chord stars. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And you know, when you click like on these videos, you help this channel grow and help the algorithms show my videos to more people who could benefit from these psychic readings. So it does truly help. If you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo on-demand videos, my most recently recorded video series links are posted down below in the description box in the show more section. And they're also available on my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. And when I say down below, some people don't realize if you click on that little word more under the title, all the video series links I'm talking about will show up. And the most recently recorded video series I just finished recording is for the new moon solar eclipse in Libra 
October 14th, 2023, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle Card readings for each sign of the Zodiac. These predictions go out six months from October, but I actually saw them going out well beyond that into summertime. So it's more than six months of predictions in those videos, so you might want to check those out. Also, my Psychic Crystal readings for October of 2023 for each sign of the Zodiac where I look into many, many topics, your work, your business, your money, your love life, your family, your health, blessings, what's new, uh, helpful energy, what you need to know, what you need to be aware of, how the energy is going to feel to you. That's a lot of things to look into. And so they're kind of like an expansion or a continuation of the psychic tarot readings I do at the beginning of the month. Also, my Horseshoe Tarot seven card psychic tarot readings, uh, they're available on Vimeo and they are always the, one of the most popular video series I record. Every time I do my Horseshoe Tarot seven card spread psychic tarot readings, they are the most, one of the most popular. And these videos go out a year from August of 2023 through until the end of August of 2024. So that's a year's worth of predictions there. Also, don't forget my mid-year psychic tarot update for 2023 for each zodiac sign. We're not done 2023 yet. We still have, what, what do we have left? All of October, all of November, and all of December. So if you haven't checked out your mid-year Psychic Tower update yet, you might want to check that out. Same thing for the mid-year Psychic, uh, same thing for the mid-year Love and Romance Psychic Tower update for 2023 for singles and couples. We're not done the year yet. You want to see what I got for the update? Well, remember, the first half of the video is for single people of your sign. Second half of the video is for the couple people of your sign. And there's one Psychic Tower for the Heart Oracle card for both of your signs mixed together in one card at the end. So make sure you watch the entire video. And in the love readings, I always recommend watching the entire video because there will be some crossover from the singles to the couples and the couples to the singles. It will happen in those readings. Also, don't forget that you could get my career and finance psychic tarot reading, psychic tarot and crystal readings. They go, they, I recorded them in April of 2023 and they go out until the end of October of 2024. Not 2023, 2024. So you got 18 months of predictions about your career and finances there. And this may be the last time I record that series. I may change them do them a different way. Uh, I'm not really sure because people do want to know about their career and finance, but to be honest with you, it is not the, what the, it's not what people buy the most on Vimeo, which I find surprising because you would think people would want to know a lot about their career and their finance, but it's not the top priority in people's lives, really. That's not what uh, sells the most. So I may discontinue that. I may, but we'll see. I may change it another way. So you may want to check them out. Also, my what's lucky and new for you in 2023 uh, psychic readings. You might want to check them out. They were very interesting this year. A lot of times, you know, what comes up, people may go, that doesn't sound lucky. But later on, it turns out to be lucky. In this particular video series, I felt like the lucky sounded lucky right off the bat for most of the signs. And if you want to get any of the New Year readings, the Psychic Tarot readings for the New Year of 2023, the Psychic Crystal readings for the New Year of 2023, or the Big Love readings uh, for Love and Romance for 2023, those video links are down below because, you know, those predictions still apply as well. And if you're new to seeing me and, and you're watching me on Rumble and you don't go over to YouTube, you, you know, you might want to check those out if you haven't checked them out yet. 
By the way, I am on Rumble now. My channel there is called The Lucky Mermaid LLC, all one word. And I'm also active, back on and active on X, formerly known as Twitter. And my handle over there is at The Lucky Mermaid. I'm posting almost every day over there. So you might want to check that out. Uh, it's my spirit guides messages and you only have so much you can write over there on on X, but I am writing and posting pictures in my large repertoire of photographs I've taken over the years. And then I'm writing predictions from my guides or messages from my guides on X. So you might want to check out my, I guess you'd call them expressions or my tweets on X. Uh, if you would like to make a donation to this channel and help support the work that I do here, on YouTube and on, well, I, I, I don't have the link on Rumble, but if you want to support the readings I do here on YouTube, there's a donation link down below all the video series. It's connected to PayPal. Thank you so much to those of you who do generously donate. I do see that it comes in. I do appreciate it. Thank you so very much. It does mean a lot and it does help me a lot. I have thought of reading the people's names who donate, but then I thought some people maybe don't want to know, want other people to know they're watching psychic readings. So that's why I don't name you personally on my channel. But do know that I see it. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me and it does help me a lot. If you want to follow me on my social media pages, I am on Facebook at The Lucky Mermaid LLC. I am on Instagram at The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell. And I'm on X, formerly known as Twitter, at The Lucky Mermaid. I am not on Telegram, and I don't have WhatsApp. Somebody just recently showed me, somebody is now using my name and put a one at the end of it and is saying, uh, send me a picture of your palm and I'll give you a message. First of all, I don't read palms. That's pretty cool. I wish I did. Maybe I should learn how to do that, but I don't. And I don't have Telegram and I don't solicit anybody in the comments section of any of my videos. I don't solicit people on social media pages to see, hey, you want a reading? I've got a wait list and a cancellations list combined of well over 2,000 people. I do not need to solicit. I put, still put people on my cancellations list if you write me, but how long it's going to take me to get to you could be a really long, 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 long time. But just know, if anybody writes you, and I don't care, if they, use your, they use my picture, they copy my picture, they copy my name, but I'm not on Telegram, I don't have WhatsApp, and I don't solicit anybody on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I don't, uh, certainly don't do it in the comments section under YouTube videos or Rumble. So just know that. So I hope you have an absolutely outstanding October and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.